What's up guys? Welcome back to another Flex episode. Now for today's one, I am flying solo and we're gonna do some banded weight workouts. So you have your resistance band and everything and then you just get into the whole motion. We're gonna focus mainly on our legs. Now the band, the resistant band actually helps with, you know, joint pains and everything and it also helps with extra resistance just to give the workout an extra edge so if you always need an extra edge you can use ankle weights you can use banded workouts if you don't have the banded workouts just follow along with me and then we can do this without any we're gonna go into the warm-up so for our warm-up we're not gonna do you know a lot of things it's just hopefully gonna be two minutes and then we're gonna go into it so we're gonna start off with a normal squat to so go into your natural squat stand and you come up so we're gonna do this for 30 seconds and then we're just gonna have some fun with it just be mindful of what you're doing breathe out and then you come up here we go okay so you can do the whole blowing hard out of your mouth or you can just slowly and subtly blow out of your mouth when or breathe out when you go up okay and now we're gonna do some knee raises so the knee raises just like this you can add a, bo a hop to it you can bounce along with it yes so you can just bring it up so remember this is our warm-up we are going to start raising a heartbeat a bit so you also do want to get a lot out of your warm-up as much as you can and just have some fun with it and yes get your heart rate going and always do everything with a smile and then it will just be better okay now for the next one we are going to do some side leg to us so this one you're gonna stand wide stand here and you're just gonna bring up so you're gonna stand in an angle you're gonna bring the one leg up and you're going to try and twist it as you're doing it okay so as you have your arms you're going to twist your body you're going to bring it up you're going to definitely feel it in the leg that is holding your position okay so you can go faster there's really not a modification for this one you just go slower with it you don't have to twist as much you don't have to go fast so again we're gonna go on this side okay and then twist it okay guys this is cool so if you want to go faster in the last 10 seconds then you can go all out Three, two, and one. Great stuff. Now we're going to do some plie squat pulses. So you want your feet to be turned out. And then you're going to go down. And then you're just going to pulse. Okay. So you're going to be standing on the balls of your feet. If you lose your balance, you just get, regain your balance again. Compose yourself and go into it again. Okay, so we'll be focusing a lot on our legs today, so you might as well get it well warmed up. Okay, two and one. That brings us to the end of this warm up. I'll see you guys in the first circuit. <laughs> are back here with the first circuit and I have my resistance band on if you have a set of resistance band they have diff different types of resistance so you can just check out what it says so we're gonna start off with some banded squats okay so I'm gonna start with the one side I'm just going down and then we're gonna do the other side again 
So you have your right leg, my right leg is going up and I'm going into a squat position. So as I said earlier, this is just going to give that extra edge to your workout. And yes, it's just going to, you know, add a little bit more to whatever you're doing. And if you don't have this, you can always just do it without the resistant band. Now we're going to go into the left leg side. So now we're going to pulse there, not pulse there, but take this leg out and go into a squat. Check it out. Okay. So you go down and up. So as you come up, you breathe out. For this last 10 seconds, I'm going to just go and then you just, yeah, squat with a little shuffle. Okay, that's great stuff guys. And now we're going to do some side leg lifts. So I'm going to lower the resistance band to my ankles or yeah, start to my lower calves. And I'm going to have my hands on my hips, flex your foot. Then you're going to do some hip abductions. So you're going to lift this up. You'll definitely feel this one in the glute that you're working. So currently my right glute is on fire. So we're going to flex our foot here from point to toe. But just flex it and bring it up and down. Now we're going to do this on the other side again. So hands on your hips. You can have your hands a bit higher up. And then you're just going to lift it. Okay, with this one, since we're just balancing on our one leg, you can always just bend your leg slightly just to keep that balance a bit more. And you're going to go into a almost 45 degree angle, but this is like 75 degree angle here. And then lift it up. So you're going to flex the foot. You're going to pulse it. This is a really awesome one. You'll definitely feel this one. And now we're going to go into some donkey kicks. So lift it up here above your knee. Go on all fours. I'm going to start with the one side. Okay, as you can see, my resistant band is going down a bit, but that's okay. So we're going to bring that one up. Seconds, flex the foot, try to bring it as far up as you can possibly go. Three, two, and one. So now we're going to move to the other side in eight seconds. Let me just try and fix this band again, but there's no fixing it, so let's just get into it. So we go down again, bring up your leg. Okay. So you want to actually engage your core in this one. So you want everything to be working. So you have your stomach tucked in. So your belly button into your spine. You lift up your leg, flex the foot, bring it up as far as you can go or parallel to the ground. Two and one. Great stuff guys. Now we're gonna do some glute bridges. But with this glute bridge, I want you to keep it in a glute hold while you're doing this. And then we're just gonna open up your legs here. So you have, you hold this glute hold here, keep it tight, and then you do this clam movement. Just do this for 30 seconds. Again, guys, for your modification, you don't have to use the resistant band, okay? So that's what you're gonna do if you wanna modify this workout. You don't use the modification and there we go so for the next movement i'm going to do some jump squats and then for burpees so we're going to end this first circuit with a finisher okay so the jump squat i'm going to go into it or you can jump so pause in the middle jump down this one comes a bit easier because you're literally having a pause there so if you want to work your way to go for the full jump squat and you can do this seven six five four three two and one 
And now we're going to go into some burpees, which is always a killer. So I just think it helps that we end it with a killer. So with this quick one, you're going to go down, jump in and out. Okay. So with this one, you can be mindful of your breathing. Breathe out as you come up and down. Okay, and up. Five, four, three, two, and one. That brings us to the end of the first circuit. We'll do the next one quickly. For this last circuit, we are only going to do the banded workouts and we're not going to do the jump squats and the burpees. So we're just going to end this one really smooth, really cool. So you can really give your all for this one. So we're going to do the squats again. And as the time goes on, so if we have 15 seconds left, then we are going to go into the shuffle with the squat. So that is going to be what we're going to do for this one. So down. And there you go. So you can keep your legs together, your feet together, or you can really try and bring them out. And then there we go. And now we're gonna do the squats again on the left leg side. And then we're gonna go into the shuffle Check with the squat out. after 15 seconds. So your left leg, you go down. And as you come up, you breathe out. Now what you can also do is you can have your hands on your hips. What do I keep them in front of me? I forgot this shuffle, guys. Okay. 10 seconds. Shuffle. You can do bad. Three, two, and one. Cool. So now we're going to go into the side, uh, the hip abductions. So we're just going to have that on our calves. So there you go. You're gonna have your left, your right leg first. Try and keep your balance here. Flex your foot. You can bend the leg that you are holding onto or the leg that's supporting you. You can bend it a bit. Seven, six, five seconds. Two, and one. The other side now. So. Yes, I've got some few seconds left on that one. So we're just gonna go down. You can already bend your leg there. And you can bring it up. Keep your balance. You want to just stretch out your arms. To keep a better balance, you can do that. But just go back and do your abductions. So you can hear your glutes screaming and feel them. Five seconds left, five, four, three, two, and one. Great stuff. So now we're gonna go into the donkey kicks. So you want your resistance band a few centimeters above your knee there. Go to all fours. I'm just gonna bring it up. Okay. So if you start going parallel, and we'll shoot up like my just did. So rather don't have it, have it close to your knee than anything else. So that you can, so that the band doesn't move. Two and one. Great stuff. Now on to the other side. Okay. So this is an awesome focus workout on your glutes mainly. Your glutes and your hamstrings will get a killer for this one. And this with a resistant band. You can also, you know, do this at home if you decide not to go to the gym the one day. So this is a good way to complement your gym workout or not to fully replace it, but just to be there. You can't go to the gym for that day. Two and one. 
great stuff. And now we're gonna go into the bridge pose. So while we're at it, let me fix this. So if you have it closer to your knees, it's gonna be more difficult to open and close your hips. So as I said, we're gonna end with this one. Then we'll go into the cool down shortly after this. So you really wanna still squeeze your glute while you do this. You wanna open and close. If you can go higher, lift your hips up higher. Three, two, and one. Great stuff, guys, that was awesome. We all did pretty amazing. I'll see you guys in the cool down so we can just get our heart rate down a bit. gonna breathe in and breathe out we're in the cool down my beautiful people if you finished your workout this is your reward a cool down just to feel better and then obviously the rewards that will come over the days and the months that you will be giving your all for yourself so we're gonna go into a forward bend but first we're gonna breathe in deeply and breathe out and fall over you can grab your calves here Stretch down a bit. You can feel this into your shoulders and let's go. So breathe in and out. So you, if by bending deeper and by holding your calf muscles, you'll definitely feel this in your hamstrings. So if your hamstrings are stretched out, you can become more flexible and it's easier to do these movements. So we're just gonna go into a side lunge here. So you really wanna feel this in this area over here and just go as deep into this as possible. You can pass it as well. And we're gonna move to the other side. So you really want to stretch that thigh muscle there or stretch your thighs and go into the stretch. And then you can just go side to side here. Forward bend again. Okay. And now for this one, we're gonna do the figure four stretch. So you're gonna press your leg outside and then you're gonna lift this one up. Okay. So you will definitely feel this one deeper into your glutes as well. So from your hamstrings into your glutes and really want to you know, target those areas and stretch them out so that they can just know, listen guys, we're done for the day. And on the other side, the other figure four, your left leg on your right leg, and then bring it forward. You can pulse it here as well. Get a deeper stretch. And while you're with the stretch, you can push back on your knee if your leg is coming forward. And then you just lift your, your right leg and lift it and we can bring this forward as well. And then you'll definitely feel the stretch going deeper. I'm gonna sit like this. So you're gonna have your legs out in front of you. Try and keep your shoulders up and then you're gonna fall into this, okay? So if you wanna bring your legs closer to each other, you can do that. But you'll just feel the stretch into your legs as you go down see if you're obviously a lot more flexible you can go deeper into this but don't force the stretch guys never force a stretch i like to do this butterfly stretch here as well it just it's a nice hip opener so for the guys if you don't have full range of motion don't stress about it by doing this daily and incorporating these movements into your cool down it helps with your flexibility so it's actually a really awesome way to stretch by incorporating these flexibility movements so that you can have some flexibility and that will just complement your workouts and it will just be much more powerful if you can go deeper into your poses okay now we're just gonna fall forward here okay 
you can hold your the balls of your feet as well as you go down okay you can have a stretch here your shoulders a bit if you want to swing them around and then i will see you guys in the next flex episode and we'll just kick our days as and be the best we that we can be